Hey guys, Arpim here. I know there are a lot of people who are still watching crypto mining YouTube, but are no longer mining. I'm seeing those types of comments more and more often now. And it's, it's obvious. It's obvious why those that are not able to mine, it's due to their electrical cost. And, you know, mining right now, you know, in terms of breaking even at least, or maybe trying to mine at a profit is really going to matter dependent on how much you're paying for your electricity. And it sucks. I think majority of the world, majority of people, depending where you live, is going to have pretty high electrical costs. Like for me, for instance, I'm realistically at like nine, eight to nine cents USD. And let's just say I had a, I don't know, typical RTX 3070. All right, just, just one, just let's just say for example, nine cents kilowatt hour, roughly, you know, I'm, I would be losing. I would roughly be, looks like Cortex has had a little pump here. Holy 140%, 150%. So, but anyways, besides the point, I, you know, I've generally been seeing around my electrical cost that I would be losing a few cents on, you know, GPUs, most of my GPUs. And uh, if I were to tune them more efficiently, and uh, I've shown this before, if you put in your correct clocks, uh, your efficient numbers, you know, that you can get on your GPUs. More often than not, you will be surprised, dependent on your electrical costs, of course. If, for instance, I did my, like, K heavy hash, uh, let's say I think it was 480 uh, at, uh, let's see, like 60 watts or something. If I hit calculate, you can see here, I'd be in the profit of about 7 cents at 9 cent kilowatt hour. So that's one little trick or something to not be discouraged as a crypto miner or a GPU miner specifically. Make sure you fill in your numbers and you can save your profiles on what to mine here. And then you can generally see how profitable your mining rigs are. Now to acknowledge crypto mining as a whole. All right. So the interest in crypto mining right now is obviously way down. I just wanted to go back here to the previous bear market of 2018 and where the beginning of 2018, there was the rise to Bitcoin was 20 K, right? The last bull run that we had. And then after that was a long arduous downfall here of the whole crypto market and, you know, the ICO phase and rug pulls and scams, BitConnect, all that good stuff. Hey, hey. A lot of people who got into mining and also big mining firms were also went into bankruptcy and, you know, got out of the game. And, you know, this the same thing is happening now. Same thing that we are feeling today uh, for, from what we are seeing with like, you know, all these insolvent exchanges, centralized exchanges. We got mining farms in going in bankruptcy mode as well with this Compute North. Uh, I don't know, some, you know, mining farms that are getting rid of older inefficient uh, mining rigs or or ASIC miners. I think Bit Farms had a little call about that two days ago. You know, I've been reading a lot of news here that, you know, a lot of these big mining firms have been taking loans in the bull run that we had last year. And obviously that is all now falling apart. And it's really sad. I think the same feelings that we are getting today for anyone that has been the mining OG in the past, you know, couple of years have probably built this resistance now, you know, <laughs> tolerance against what we have been seeing. Like for me, for instance, and I'm not trying to boast or anything, this is something that I really, it hasn't phased me at all. Like this is something we've been through before. And I am confident that we are going to come back to a time when everything is going to come back up again. I don't think it's going to be next year. I don't think it's going to be two years. It could be a couple years from now. It could be 2024, 2025. I am not sure. All right. That's something I cannot predict, but it is something that I am planning towards. And obviously that's not financial advice, but just to go back to most of you guys know, I started crypto mining YouTube back in, I think, uh, 2019 here. And I was making YouTube videos during the lowest time, all right, during the bear market. And I started, you know, this YouTube channel as a passion project because I loved crypto mining and I was so into it. And I thought, you know what, why don't I make YouTube videos and help other people get into it? And since then, I've never looked back. But just to give some advice here and whether or not it's advice or not, take it as you will. Some people may be asking, Red Panda, how did you keep yourself afloat 
during these low times. And so to be honest, what I did, I didn't spend too much money. Like I didn't like take on debt to get into mining. Like I only had, I think less than what, 30 GPUs during that time. But the biggest thing was I had a full-time job. And then I also had a second job doing consulting. And so I was very motivated in a way to create this extra income for myself and have that expendable income essentially from my full-time job and my second job to pay for this hobby essentially. And I think the same thing that's happening right now during this low time for a lot of people that are maybe getting out of mining or maybe still sticking with mining are understanding the fact of the a future potential of mining and just crypto in general. I think a lot of people who have the pessimistic nature of understanding that, hey, crypto mining is dead, crypto mining is dead, crypto mining is dead. I just, you know, this has been said in many times in the past. I don't know, since the inception of, of Bitcoin, I bet. For anyone that got into mining Bitcoin back in 2019, back, back in 2009, and then maybe back in 2012, and then exited and then got back in in 2015, and then it crashed and then left. And then those that got into mining back in, let's say, the 2017 era, had the regrets of not getting in or staying in mining in the past you know seven years uh, whatever prior and in my opinion and this is not financial advice i am getting deja vu here like similar to what is happening now the feelings that we have seen with other you know prominent exchanges or icos and uh, notorious bitconnect i think that would probably equal to what like ftx was this year i have to laugh because this is something that we've been through before and for those that are quitting the game now i'm sorry if you're quitting and I'm sorry for those that are living paycheck to paycheck, are unable to go or stay on and keep mining and depending on your electrical costs, so many different variables, I understand that. Of course, take care of the family, take care of yourself. Financially, you have to do what makes sense for you. Crypto mining, it's something that you're not gonna make a lot of money initially. Mining really is a long haul type of thing and you have to really keep up with it. You really also have to keep up with the amount of you know capital you have in order to really continue on. Right. Like I said, back in the previous bear market here, uh, 2018, 2019, 20, beginning of 2020, uh, before the rise up in the DeFi summer was that I, like I said, I had a full-time job. I had a second job essentially doing consulting and I was making extra money to pretty much invest into crypto mining during this time. So for a lot of you that are just disinterested now getting out of it, I don't know what else to say, but if you want to continue something like this, you're going to have to find a way to make that extra money to really, you know, invest and take that risk into hoping that in the next you know bull cycle the next run up of bitcoin which will hopefully then carry the rest of the market is something that i have always believed in in the previous times and i have seen my portfolios just go up to the moon and personally from what i've mined during the low times in the four digits turned into you know six digits during the last bull run and for all the content and all the hardware i bought during the past year you guys can probably tell during that time so i don't really need to explain myself there but for those that are discouraged now i understand it is a hard time for everybody right now including myself like i am getting to the point where i can no longer really really pay for a lot of my mining rigs electricity out of pocket because it's thousands of dollars a month and you know that's that's a lot right now and so to go with the disinterest in crypto mining that also translate to my youtube channel like my views are down in half uh, income is down in half advertising is completely wiped out no company wants to you know sponsor channels anymore you know that type of thing generally and i'm being completely honest with you guys like the aftermath since the ethereum merge along with you know the crypto markets going down has really affected everything as a whole and i know for a lot of you guys who are still watching me understand the ebb and flows obviously of the market but for those that are maybe just you know trying to understand or get like a positive outlook a mentality in all of this is that you really have to try to really keep yourself afloat during these bad times and if you can hopefully invest during these times i'm not saying you should just not financial advice honestly a lot of people have the number of you know the the comfortable amount of money they're willing to invest in something enough so that they are still able to live right and enough that you still have maybe three to six months savings all right after 
your investment or into mining or into into your hobby because the risks getting into gpu mining or gpu mining specifically is that obviously you're buying hardware that can you you can also resell to a gamer right gpus going into something like asic mining for instance it's going to be a lot more riskier because asic mining i found in my opinion as the market goes up, the ASIC hardware prices go up. When the market goes down, the ASIC prices go down. So it's very similar to GPUs, but GPUs, at least you still have more so a value there. I mean, like really depends on the coin you decide to buy, the ASIC miners you decide to buy, you know, for Bitcoin mining or Litecoin and merge mine Dogecoin. You know, these types of ASICs seems like they have kept themselves afloat, obviously, since after the Ethereum merge, because those are not gpu mineable these are all asic mineable now but it just goes to show you know since this downturn that we've been having the litecoin asics like the l7 and some other uh litecoin miners uh, depending how efficient you run them can still be profitable today depending on your electrical cost but besides the point all right back to gpu mining i understand this is something that a lot of people are have getting out of and i know it is discouraging right now but you guys have to really keep a positive outlook on all this you have to really believe that we are going to come back to a time when things are going to be good again and this is i feel i'm like seriously having so much deja vu here seriously a lot of deja vu unfortunate as it is okay and i'm not quite sure when the next run-up is going to happen obviously we're still going through a lot of negative stuff that's happening in the market just my opinion okay this is not financial advice i just i feel like it's not over yet but, you know, if things start continue to, you know, go up and then go down or start you know leveling off, you know, it could be a, a good two or three years, just like the previous bear market and the pre and the other bear market before that, uh, before 2017, it was a good couple of years. So who knows if that's going to play out or not, but you got to keep the mindset of, you know, make sure you have the uh, expendable income and, you know, maybe you know, at least a year of money saved up so you can ride the uh, bear market essentially. And then hopefully uh, during that time, you can accumulate uh, not only the hardware, but also accumulate the mining coins, the, the yield that you've been mining, depending on which coin you're mining, right? And uh, the, whatever coin you're speculating on is the coin that you think is going to 5x, 10x, 100x, who knows? Nobody knows, but in my opinion, if you understand that in the Bitcoin cycles that it generally brings up the rest of the market, then there's going to be a couple of coins here that are you know, exponentially going to go higher uh, in price than Bitcoin. And I think time and time again, it shows, you know, we've seen that with Ravencoin. We, we've seen that with a bunch of different proof of work coins it happened to Kadena. Uh, happened uh, I feel like, uh, let's see, Cortex is having a big moon here. I'm not quite sure how long that's going to last. But just looking at a lot of different proof of work coins, and I do have a Red Panda Mining proof of work watch list. Uh, I, I'll share this down in the description below. Uh, you guys can go uh, go look at this if you want. This is where I just put some coins, all proof of work coins, okay, GPU mineable and uh, some ASIC mineable as well. And this is where I generally like to see what the price action is on some coins uh, every day. I just like to look at it. But anyways, for those that have made it this far, I just want to give you a positive message here. I know things are really negative right now. I know that uh, since in the past uh, couple of months here, maybe this whole year, uh, it's just been con a continuous downward trend and it shows on the uh, Google Trends, right? Generally mining and uh, you know people are not searching it up as much anymore. Like I said, my views are down, I'm losing subscribers, uh, that, that that type of thing. It's it's really a downturn here. And But we've been here before and I'm here to stick it out to the very end. I'm gonna keep going. If things start going to zero, then so be it. Then what I've been doing, I, I hope that during that time, I at least inspired people during that time, made people money or lost a bunch of money depending on which time you got in obviously but i wouldn't trade my experiences over the past couple of years for anything because it's been such a wild ride and i am definitely hopeful for the next run up with all of you guys i will be here through the thick and thin and i hope you guys will as well understanding and believing that all we are in right now can hopefully just make us a ton of money i think that's the end all be all here but of course we want to support crypto as a whole and uh, hopefully gets adopted in some form or fashion as well that's always the beneficial i would say the side effect of why we are all in this right so anyways my friends i'll leave it at that i will see you guys in the video tomorrow smash that like and have a good one peace out